right. So resolutions, 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 and why I think they're horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> not, not not horseshit, but but resolutions as as a staple of fitness is is horseshit to me because you know we went through this yesterday, touched on a, a bunch of different points and uh tech difficulties and whatnot you're know, trying to just i don't remember what all you said and that's kind of the, the the best part about it all is that it's you know like i said before in the in the, the description like nothing here is necessarily you know, we don't have anything scripted put it that way yeah. all right so um but as a, as a former teacher can you just explain what exactly the word resolution mm -hmm. means i mean a resolution is like in a way a solution to something. It's you're resolving something. If you have a resolution about something, then you're you're thinking about how to solve a problem. You're resolving it. So okay, but if it's so when I if I were to say, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a word and I want you to tell me the first thing that okay. comes to your mind. Okay. The first thought, the first word, the first whatever. All right. Mm -hmm. Resolutions. Well <laughs> I think about like, You're taking too fucking long. I'm sorry. I think about like fitness in fitness, January, uh, but right. that's like I'm kind of biased because that's. Well, I don't think you are. I, I think that if 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 I was, to, I think if we were to go out there and say, all right, I'm going to say a word, and you're going to tell me in return right away without thinking like you just did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> resolutions. Like the first thing that popped in my mind was New Year's. Yeah, because it's like yeah. completing a sentence almost, just kind of reverse engineering. Right. So the concept is, it's kind of stuck by the ass that a resolution is almost always synonymous with some sort of reversal of your health and fitness or just trying to get your shit together and be more in shape and which means it's january which means it's new year's time to cut the shit or whatever right right my problem with that is resolution to resolve something mm -hmm. and i think yesterday i was i was using a different version of the word resolve like mm -hmm. to have resolve like yeah and things and, right. and, and, and let me correct myself. I don't mean it that way. I mean, resolve as in I have resolved the issue. Yes. Right. And if the issue is I'm out of shape or I'm having an unhealthy way of life, mm -hmm. how am I going to resolve this problem? Right. Yep. Is, is that? Yeah. Okay. So if that's the case and it's 2022, why am I going to wait till 2023? Why am I going to start off a new year? trying to close the book on something from the old year. Yeah. Like I understand it's semantics and I don't want to be, you know, too deep about, about yeah. it. But to me, if you're going to resolve that issue, cool, let's do it. Close the book, change it, you know, cl close the chapter or whatever in, in that year or whatever it's going to be. And then, and then when 2023 comes, you know, it's about having the action. That right. was what you were saying. What did you say yesterday about, I said like the, the commitment and, and yeah, I said the difference between having a goal and actually achieving it is the actions that you take in between. Like you can say my new year's resolution is to lose weight, like cool. But if you're not going to stick to something, if you're not going to actually make the moves you need to make, then you're not going to lose anything. So, and I, I, I don't mean I've got another word to replace it with. I'm, I'm not saying right. that we should, oh yeah, your new year's commitment, even though I think that'd be awesome because it's, you know, we're here at commit fit with, with fit kit or whatever, but I, I don't mean that. I, I think, I don't know how, I don't know how else I want to, I don't know what other word I want to use to describe it, but I want to make sure that for everybody that's trying to, that feels like, you know what, I've just been waiting for the, that, that right time. Right. Because if it's not about the money, then it's about the time. Right. And they're sitting here waiting for January. Like what if it's June? The, the right time thing gets me every, every time. Like, who's ever ready to change your whole life? Or, or <laughs> historically speaking, in, in our experience, we've we've seen a huge drop in February. Mm -hmm. And I've been I've been to you know smaller studios. I've also I've also worked at big box gyms. And February is notoriously a month that just sucks mm -hmm. because people bite off more than they can chew in January, and the, the next thing you know. It's like, shit, this is hard, man. Yeah. February comes, they see that chocolate, and they're like, yo, treadmill don't make me happy. <laughs> Truffle butter make me happy. <laughs> Treadmills never you know make me I mean? happy. So so it's almost like what happens if that's you and it's and, and you start off, you know, rolling in January. 
Mm-hmm. And then you realize how that it's hard and you actually have to have, you know, to your point, you have to have a plan and some conviction behind it. And if you don't, it's February and you're like, damn, this is hard, yo. And then, <laughs> Why am I doing this? And then, and then you'll go and then someone's on a treadmill, you're like, <laughs> like if you're, if you go to a gym now and you know, most big box gyms have rows of treadmills, yeah. but of course somebody happens to be on the third one from the left front row, top left, whatever. Right. And you're like, dang, somebody on my treadmill. <laughs> really? You start, you know, so you start finding excuses. <laughs> yeah. In, in, yeah. And, and then, so if that happens, you know what I'm saying? And it's February. What are you going to do? You're going to wait till next January because yeah. you don't get a redo. So is it really a resolution if nothing's resolved? Yeah, if you just keep having the same problem over and over again. Like, if that's your resolution every year, you're not resolving anything. So, you know what? I remember the point about the perspective. Yeah. So, we, we put out a, a a free product last month. Is it last month? The Fear Guide? It may have been two months ago. Two months ago uh, called a, a Fear Guide, How to Beat Your your Fitness Fears mm-hmm. in 60 Seconds. And the, and the best part about it was everything that was in that guide is not just about fitness. Not at all. We, we try to make everything that we do here in every session and every, you know, with every client and every class and every online, you know, course and program that we have, we, we try to make sure that it's as applicable in real life driven as, as, as possible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, you know, I was, I was 50, 50 on how I wanted to go about what hat I wanted to wear for this, because I didn't want to <laughs> go so like real and just have everybody try to file suit or some shit like get all butthurt about whatever i'm saying because people are soft and that you know that yeah. it is what it is but when i think about what, what's in the fear guide and i think about what we do what you do every day with these people it's like if we took a second to allow the perspective of what most think resolutions are and and, and coddle the fear and and too much with the, i'm not saying we're not we, we shouldn't be empathetic mm-hmm but if we coddle it and it's like, all right, you know. Then you're never going to beat it. Yeah, dude. You'll never beat it though. You'll make it stronger. Yeah. I mean, if that's that's one of the, the my favorite things about being here is watching people beat their fears, right? Because people walk in here all the time. They've either never been in a gym before or it's been a long time. They're scared out of their minds thinking someone's going to judge them or they're not going to be able to do all the things. And they walk out of here and they're like, man, I'm so glad I did this. And the, and the, the thing is with the, with the perspective, which is the second point. So it was a three point system, mm-hmm. uh, a three step system yep. in, in the fear guide for y'all listening. Um, the second point was the change in your perspective, mm-hmm. right? If, if you, we, you know, I said in the, in the, in the beginning, it's, we don't care about your goals. Mm-hmm. And, and honestly, when I started, when I started the business, 2013, that was the number one thing I said to people. I found the success I've had as a professional trainer by saying that brutal truth to people. Like, I, I don't, I appreciate the opportunity, mm-hmm. but I don't care about your goals, not even a little bit. I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm just, I don't care about your goals. Mm-hmm. I got my own goals. <laughs> you got your goals and I got mine. I care about why you want the goal. Right. And I think if you change your perspective on goal setting and such, you'll understand kind of where we're coming from when, when it, when we talk about, at least when I'm talking about the whole resolution mm-hmm. thing, like I, I don't, you know, when we have on the perspective point, the whole, the glass thing. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Glasses, half empty glasses, half, half full. Supposed to tell you if you're an optimist or a pessimist or whatever, like what? Yeah. Okay. I, what, I don't know. What, what, I mean, if I were to ask you, if I gave you a glass, had it filled halfway with water, is it half full or is it half empty? Oh, there's water in it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so you can either, you know, a pick one or the other, optimist or pessimist, right? If it's half full or half empty, uh-huh. right? You can b just take note that some guy passed me a glass of water, and I'm hey, there's there's glass and there's water in. It. Or c, you can with that which b would be would be Sarah's you know point of view. But if if if, if you're me. See, I would, I would, why did I, I'm not thirsty. I didn't ask for that shit. Some, Nobody bothered to ask that part of it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Why? And some days the glass is half full. Some days it's half empty. Like, I, I mean, I like uh, to think I'm kind of an optimist. I'm kind you of are. Optimist. You are absolutely. I'm surprised that you said that random Barbie ass statement. Well, but, because <laughs> I think that's a stupid comparison. To what? 
I the glass thing. Like, what what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, well, because because it's it's optimism versus pessimism. Are are you are you looking with gratitude? Are you looking at the water and saying, "Well, it could be worse." The marker of my life being optimistic is not a glass of water. It's more, you know. Yeah, I know for you, I'm speaking generally though. Yeah. So if you're, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna start a fitness journey, you should be. I mean, I mean, I guess should you be optimistic? Of course. You gotta be realistic. But too. you should be realistic. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna be real hard. Mm -hmm. But I really want it too. Mm -hmm. Right. So. I mean, it's gonna be real hard. It's gonna feel, but then it's gonna feel good for a while, and then guess what? After a little while, it's gonna feel sucky again. Like in you know February. what I mean? It's up and down and up and down. And I think a lot of people think like they just have to get to that goal and they've arrived. When you the, don't. But the well, the, here's the thing. To me, the arrival is the is the day you decide mm -hmm. to do it. Yeah, I like which that. which is this which is the third step mm -hmm. in, in in the fear guide, right? We're talking about resolutions again. Like do. I understand why people use that word. I mean, we it, it, we do it. I did it. I, I get yeah. it. We still we still use it now, sort of, because mm -hmm. people understand that language, right? But if it if you don't know what it quote unquote it means to you, what are you doing? And what does it matter? What does it What does it matter? Like, what word would we use instead? My New Year's commitment. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it is you know that's the best word. Yeah. Because commitment to me requires action. Right. Otherwise, it requires action. It requires detail. It requires a plan. Mm -hmm. Right. So how do you, how do you, what, what, I mean, what other word would you, would you choose? I don't, you know what I mean? I don't, I'd like for me, I mean, I think that all, all of this, no matter what your goal is or no matter whether it's fitness or life or anything, you have to know how you're going to do it. Like, I think it's one thing to say, to make yourself a new year's resolution and say, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, this, but you have to have like a really solid plan. It's easy to say, I'm going to eat better. What does that mean? Yeah. Right. When I started in fitness, I, in health, like I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was literally living off of Cheetos, Red Bull and donuts. That was what I ate in a day, every day. <laughs> Stop at the gas station on my way to school, grab what I needed for the day and be on with it. So to say I'm going to eat better. Cheetos and Red Bull? Yeah. You probably Spicy had Cheetos. some straight Jamaican diarrhea ass. Ew. No, I did not. No How? Such thing. Because that's what I ate every day. <laughs> okay. But in any case. She did. She just <laughs> flushed. She courtesy flushed that shit so nobody would notice. <laughs> but what I'm saying is. <laughs> It's it, when you have no idea what you're doing, you have to have an idea of what it means to eat healthy, right? What mm -hmm. does it mean to eat better? Because then you sit down, you go to the grocery store, and you're like, well, shoot. I would go, <laughs> I would, I would go one step further mm -hmm. and say, damn that better stuff, healthy, you know, no, you can, you got to eat right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can eat healthy. You and can eat clean. And still be gaining fat. And, st and But not be right for you. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, you know, the whole calories in, calories out gig. Okay, I, I, I get it from, from a basic arithmetic standpoint. You know, let's just assume that there's no GI issues, there's no other metabolic issues. You, you know, you've, you know, everybody's infinitely wealthy with chefs and whatnot. You could just have the best stuff written. Like, if your macro balance is still off, it's right, not doing thing. you can eat. You can eat health. You can eat broccoli and water all day, mm -hmm. and you're gonna pass the f out the moment you hit the gym. Yep. Uh, unless, unless you do, well, you know what? Not because you're still being a caloric deficit to the point where the moment you realize it's boring as hell, and you're trying to get your sweat on, you're gonna take one wrong step and face plant, <laughs> and you're gonna be a YouTube star for face planting somewhere forever. If you hear and you fall and we catch that on video, yes, <laughs> we'll split the profits. Boy, I'm boasting that shit. Heck yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So, so if you can eat right, meaning right for you, meaning, you know, you have so many hours in a day that you're awake doing stuff. You have this much time to work out. You have, this is your budget. Mm -hmm. This is your knowledge base of food. Mm -hmm. You do or don't have kids to feed because believe me i mean you can speak on it mm -hmm. too you have kids um they eat cheese. everything Are you can i tell you one and time they, and they're never happy no stupid 
Oh, it's so stupid. One time I logged all the little bites I took of my kids' food all day. It was like 600 calories and 40 grams of fat in one day. Just from little bites of stuff. What do you mean you logged? Like on my fitness pal. Oh, you logged for yourself what you ate? Yeah. I logged I only the little bites I took though. Little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Pop tart and a half later. Well, okay. Yes, but let's see again. If you know that. I, I could ask, what kind of workouts are you doing? Mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I mean. Now, I'm not. I'm not condoning, you know, pop tarts. Whatever. Oh, I, I'm not necessarily saying don't eat pop tarts. I like the brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts all day. I'll eat that shit in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but but being right for my diet and whatnot, meaning my my exercise my exercise regimen, I know what that means. You know what yeah. I'm saying. I I understand. The, the perspective is right in my in my mind in my world i understand it i i if i want to eat like an asshole i'm gonna eat like an asshole and then i'm gonna work out like one too and you're not gonna hear me bitch about it um well i may bitch about like how i feel because of mm -hmm. it but i'll do it in a way that's like funny or whatever right. like i'm not gonna show like any feel bad for yourself well or yeah because you know or or i'm not gonna man i'm so fat i wish i was and that's the thing you have to understand that every choice you make leads to something else and you have to be okay with that. Like whatever choice you're going to make, cool. And that goes back to making a plan for the year, right? Like if you know that you're mm -hmm. that you're making the choice to, well, I'll I'll start at the gym, but I'm not going to I'm not going to even look at my calories or my food. I'm not going to look at any of that. Well, then you have to know that you're holding yourself back from the progress that you could see and you have to be okay with that. Or know that you're doing that and that's possible, mm -hmm. but it's necessary to make sure that you come back the next day and the next day. Yeah. But, but you're right. Eventually, you know, you, you have to, there's going to come a time where you're going to have to put down the chips yeah. sooner or later, or you're going to have to put down the expectations behind your goals. Exactly. Ding, ding. Oh, that ding, was a good one. That was a good one. So <laughs> again, resolutions, list of solutions, I'd rather say, or just, you know, I guess we want to urge, urge, people mm -hmm. to, you know, when putting together your list of New Year's resolutions, resolve that shit in December. Yeah. Enjoy the hell out of Christmas. Heck yeah. Right? Whatever. Get your goals right for, you know, not, I don't want to say January, but get your goals right, period, and understand that from there I want to do, you know, if I, if I want to accomplish this, here's what I have to do. Yes, right? and know what you're going to do about it. And that is the biggest part. If you don't know what you're going to do about it. Reach on out. Yes. Like, we'll give that free guy, uh, that that uh, beat your fear guide. It's free, dude. We'll, we'll send it to you right now. Mm -hmm. Just just subscribe to the shit, email, DM, whatever. Like, it, dude, honestly, or go to our site, fitkidathletics.com, and, and sign up, and we'll send it to you. Mm -hmm. Because, it, again, it's not just about... It's not just about fitness, but it, I mean, when the, the, the three steps to them were identify it, change your perspective, and then choose. Mm -hmm. Every day you get a chance and a choice, mm -hmm. but people are only as faithful as their options, mm -hmm. right? So if you can identify either what it is you want or what it is that's not working, look at your perspective on that topic decide the one that works best for whatever it is you, that you're really trying to get after mm -hmm. right and then and then put together a list of options that you can really choose from and like then actually choose so long as the well yeah but is is it, once you choose it stick with the shit too but yeah right. you're, you're you're right but the, the trick is you know the options that you have have to be a part of the actual solution like it can't just be you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. if we like if we fill the table full of full of, you know, healthy food, mm -hmm. right food, shall we say. Well, for this context, is you know, if we were to fill the table with nothing but healthy food, mm -hmm. low fat, you know, whatever, healthy food, you could pick anything you want. What are you going to do? You're going to overeat on some broccoli? Boo-hoo. <laughs> like, dude, that's awesome, right? Cool. Yeah. Now, Ew. if you were to fill the table with half healthy and half, you know, Cookies. AMC rewards program shit. Yeah. It's like you got a 50-50 chance, right? Now you may choose the healthy and right stuff when you're in the right mindset, mm -hmm. i.e. perspective. Yeah. But if you're feeling some type of way over stress or whatever it may be, all of a sudden, well, 
that double oh. dutch in the clutch comes looking real sharp to you and you put the broccoli down and you're going to smash the crap out of those peanut m ms oh. you, you know what i mean <laughs> yes. all because it wasn't because you were weak it was because you allowed it to be an option. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's like my so perspective on my when, life. When we when we put our programs together with with that perspective in mind, understanding from from the client standpoint, you know, we make these monthly programs, the 21 day programs. They're, they're you know they're not not just the off days are included, but we built the programs around uh, knowing that. There's going to be a day where you may feel off or tired or whatever, and that if if something happens and you, um, you know, you 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 miss the day or this person's probably you know this 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 routine is really hard. Mm -hmm. This is probably going to be the, the day that they get tired and want to take a break. Like we plan for that. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think you said something earlier too about um, how we try, like we take lifestyle into consideration, but and it's because fitness like is part of your life. You know, it's just like anything else in your life that you have to make time for, just like you make time for your kids and you make time to go to doctor's appointments and you make time to go to dinner with your friends. You have to make time. It doesn't just like fall into your lap. Like here's the perfect hour that you're going to get to go to the gym every day. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Yeah. Unless it's 5 a.m. In which case nothing really gets in the way at 5 a.m. No, yeah, well, that well, yeah, you sure it does. If you're if you're up late doing stuff the night before, well, and you're I exhausted. I was exaggerating, but I'm but that is a little bit better. It's 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 harder for five a.m. to get away from you than five p.m. Yes, that's what I meant. Of course, one hundred percent. But anyway, when you you know resolutions, yeah, to use them as to use a word that that is so strongly correlated with health and fitness. Mm -hmm. And then to attach it to, uh, is, is connotate the word I want to use? What? Connotate. Like I want it like, That's what's the like word I'm taking trying? notes. And maybe attach is better. Right? right? Anyway, to use that word with all, with, with its strong oh, attachments. Oh, connotations. I get what you mean. Yes. To use that word that has such strong ties to health and fitness. <laughs> And then, and then buddy tape that shit to January new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, you got to cut it loose, man. Yeah. Cut it loose. Unfriend that shit. Yes. Unfollow. Yeah. Block. Yes. Report. <laughs> well, what, what are they? Oh, no, no, no. I think the young bucks are like, this is cancel that. Cancel yeah, that cancel shit. It. <laughs> cancel that connection. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, Ugh. if you don't settle it, like, be the best way to settle it is to is to is Do to it. cut it and move on. Yes. Because then all of a sudden it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, get a whole new list of problems to deal with. Yeah. And then and then resolve those guys at the throughout the course of the year. Right. And then you start the next year with something different. Right. And what you're gonna find is when you start getting your brain wrapped around um, searching for solutions, problem solving, right? Instead of justifying misery and whatnot, mm. your goals are gonna change. Yes. Because you start getting on the offensive, doubling down on yourself and what you like, what your insides tell you. And that's that's how it should be. So, you know, if you're gonna do that, like I guess we we urge you to 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 really just sit down, write that ish down, and say, here's the things that really get in my way between you and yourself in the toilet. Just, you know, really, really have a heart to heart <laughs> with yourself and say, these are the things I that are holding me back. Right. And if it's between you and you in the toilet, like you're just solo, like honestly, it's okay to, to be honest with yourself. It's, you know what? If my goddamn kid wasn't so needy, eh, like, like like parents get frustrated. I got three of them. I understand. Mm -hmm. You get frustrated. It doesn't make you a bad parent. It makes you human. Yes. You know, what would, what, what, to me, what is bad is to not deal with it. And then when the kids get frustrated, all of a sudden you're over here. Do as I say, not as I do. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any parent really wants that. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say anyone, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to parent because I think if somebody told me how to parent, I'll punch them in their damn throat. <laughs> right? You know, no parent wants to hear that. But let's be honest, as adults, like, look, it's hard to talk about things and help your kids out with stuff when you know your damn self you're not doing it. Ah, oh, that's Because sooner or later, they're going to figure you out. Yeah. That's some, ooh, that's another one. Sooner or later, your kids are going to get old enough to see, well, how come, you know, you didn't do that that way, right? There's yeah. going to be video footage of you later down the road of saying you can be anything you want to be 
And your kid's going to say, well, how come you didn't? Oh, gosh, Ooh. that's like a knife in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> that did not feel good. <laughs> Shoot. You know what I mean? Yes. People people have, have, have tried to say that to me before. Well, you, you were a musician for 15 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be on the Grammys. You wanted to do this. Why didn't you do that? Well, you're not following your dreams. Shit, no, I'm not. You, you know what? I saw it to its end. I could have pursued it. Mm -hmm. I, I got my answer, but I wasn't willing to leave, you know, my, my now my 17 year old, I wasn't willing to leave her to leave the state for that. Mm -hmm. And I knew right then and there, there's something more important than music. You made a choice. I did. Because it was on the table. Yeah. And I didn't even know it was there. And it changed everything. My perspective changed all over the place. And it's yeah. never been the same since then. Because mm -hmm. then it was like, all right, what, do I really want this or do I not? Mm -hmm. And if I do, why do I want it? And it made me really think about what I'm deciding to do every day, why I'm doing it, you know, and whether or not I can live with the person I am. If I'm an asshole, can I live with, with that? If I'm not, can I, can I, can I, you know, mm -hmm. but, but at the end of the day, you really start looking at yourself and saying, am I a good parent? Am I, am I doing shit that I can explain back? Can I problem solve mm -hmm. for the kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, at the, and that's to me, that's, I have resolved that issue. Yeah. Bring me the next problem because I know how to solve it. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's a game changer. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do. So hopefully this didn't die, die on me. The computer oh died, totally went blank. And my ID is Jesus. Oh, no, it's okay, good money. Uh, my, my laptop <laughs> totally went blank. Why is your ID Jesus? Because he's just keeping an eye on me, bro. <laughs> he over here like this. <laughs> he's he looking at me. Like I'm keeping myself in check. Perspective. <laughs> My think my my touch ID and Jesus like this. He look at it. <laughs> He's oh, like, put man. that shit down. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Anyway, so if you're gonna use resolution as as your keyword, as your trigger word to get your stuff in order, then fine. Cool. But make a plan. But make a plan. If you follow a plan, holler because we we can yeah. help. We can help put that put that together. That's what we do. So if you need that fear guide, okay. Just like message us on Instagram, mm -hmm. Fit Kid Athletics. Send us a message that says Fear Guide, and we'll send it right over to you. Fit Super Kid easy. Athletics is everywhere. Our website, fitkidathletics.com. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube, uh, Instagram. Okay. Check us out. Stay tuned for more fittertainment. Yeah. I like that term. It's a fun term. It is a fun term. And we will catch you on the flip side. Yep. See you later. <laughs>